If you're building skills for a world that no longer exists, then you're about to waste the next five years of your life. The AI train is coming faster than you can say AI. Because while everyone else is chasing the same future-proof careers, a small group of people are positioning themselves to become completely independent. They've built skills so valuable that companies cannot afford to lose them. Or they've started their own businesses and never need to depend on anyone else again. I'm Suleiman, I've been in tech for more than a decade, and in the last five years, I've been running my own tech companies in consulting, software, and education. What I'm about to show you are the eight skills that don't just survive the AI revolution, they thrive because of it. These aren't just high paying jobs. These are the skills that give you the leverage, the freedom, and the ability to get rich on your own terms. By the end, you'll know exactly which path leads to real independence in an AI-first world. Before we dive into the skills, you need to understand what real career freedom looks like in 2026. It's not about job security anymore. It's about being so valuable that you control your own destiny. You have skills that companies desperately need but can't easily replace. You understand systems that most people don't. You can solve problems that AI cannot do. And most importantly, you can create value directly, whether for your own business or being the person companies pay premium rates to solve their biggest challenges. And this is about building skills that give you options, not just paychecks. Let's start with skill number eight and work our way to the most powerful skill that will guarantee your freedom. Skill number eight is content creators, the new business founders. Now forget about what you think about content creators making TikTok dances. Today's creators are the new business founders. They're building multi million dollar companies from their laptops. Companies are spending 40% more on ads than last year. And guess what? It's not working. People block ads, they skip commercials, and they ignore billboards. But they watch creators that they trust. In fact, OpenAI literally listed a new role for a creator this week paying over $300,000 per year. And smart businesses are catching on to this. Instead of buying expensive ads, they are hiring internal creators to make content that actually sells their products. And here is the key. One creator with AI tools can replace entire marketing teams. So what do you actually do? You create content that turns viewers into customers. You build communities around products and services. You use AI to make videos, write posts, and design graphics faster. And then you turn your audience into a business that generates revenue 24 seven. And the key is that you own your audience. Companies pay you to reach them, or you build your own products and sell directly to them. And the income potential here is between 80 to 150K a year working for companies, and you can make over $200,000 a year with your own business. How hard is it to learn? I would say medium because you need to understand people and use AI tools. The competition is very high for basic content, but very low for creators who understand business. But creating great content is just one piece of the puzzle. What really determines your income is your ability to convince people to buy, which brings us to skill number seven, sales turning conversations into cash. And here is what most people don't understand about sales in an AI world. AI can answer basic questions and send follow-up emails. But when someone is spending $500,000 on software or signing a multi-year contract, they want to talk to a real human. Sales isn't about being pushy or annoying people. It's about understanding problems and then presenting solutions that make sense. The bigger the problem that you can solve, the more money that you can make. What you actually do here is that you build relationships with people people who make buying decisions, you understand business problems that cost companies money, you present solutions that solve those problems, and then you negotiate deals that work for everyone. Top salespeople often make way more money than their bosses. Revenue generators are never fired, especially the best ones. Income potential here is between 100 to over $300,000 a year because your income is tied to what you sell. How hard is it to learn? I would say medium because it's more about understanding people than the technical stuff and the competition is also medium. Many try sales, but few master relationship building, but even the best salespeople need to understand the complex problems that their clients face, which is why skill number six is becoming absolutely crucial. Problem solving the person companies call when everything is broken. This separates the people who take orders from the people who give them. When AI handles the easy stuff, humans become way more valuable for the messy problems that don't have any clear answers. You become the person companies call when the AI isn't working, when their strategy isn't making money, when they don't know what's wrong. This isn't about being the smartest person in the room. It's about seeing patterns, understanding how things connect, and then creating solutions that haven't been tried before. 
What you actually do in this role is that you figure out why things aren't working when no one else can. Then you design strategies for situations that can change quickly. And then you help teams make decisions when everyone else disagrees. And you build systems to solve problems that keep happening. People that can solve problems become trusted advisors. Executives can call you directly for help. An income potential here is between 120 to over 250K a year. Consulting pays even more. How hard is it to learn? I would say it's quite hard because it requires understanding many different business areas. And the competition for this is extremely low because most people want easy answers and not problem solving skills. But solving problems is only valuable if you can do it safely and legally in our AI first world, which makes skill number five more critical than ever. The AI rule keeper, making sure AI doesn't get companies sued. Here is what most people miss. The more companies use AI, the more they need humans to make sure that it doesn't break the law. AI can accidentally discriminate against people, it can violate privacy laws, it can make decisions that regulators don't understand. Companies are getting sued for millions of dollars because their AI systems made biased decisions or misused customer data. Someone needs to create rules and systems that make AI safe for businesses to use. What you actually do here, you create rules for how companies can safely use AI. You check AI decisions to make sure that they are fair and legal, and then you document everything so companies can prove that they followed the rules. But you also navigate new laws that didn't exist five years ago. Now, one mistake can actually destroy a company, and risk managers are becoming essential. Income potential here is between 130 to over 200K a year. Banks and healthcare pay way more. How hard is it to learn? I would say it's pretty hard because you need to understand both AI systems and legal requirements. But a competition is very low because most people find this boring, but the boring pays extremely well. But compliance rules are worthless if the systems they protect don't actually work in the real world. That's where skill number four becomes essential. Full stack developer, the person who builds complete digital solutions. And this isn't about writing code. AI already does that better than most humans. This is about understanding how to build systems that work when millions of people use them at the same time. You're the person who takes an AI prototype and turns it into something that can handle real customers without crashing. So what do you actually do here? You design digital systems that can grow from 100 users to 100 million. You choose the right technologies and tools for each project. You fix problems when systems slow down or break under pressure. You connect business needs with technical solutions. You're not just a coder here. You are a technology strategist who builds complete solutions. Income potential here is between 130 to over 180K a year. Senior roles can exceed over 250K a year. How hard is it to learn? Well, it's medium to hard because it requires broad technical knowledge, not just coding. The competition for this is media because there's many developers, but few understand complete system design. But even the most beautiful systems are useless if hackers can break into them and steal everything, which makes skill number three absolutely crucial. Cyber and cloud security, protecting everything online. Think of this as being a bodyguard, but for computer systems and data instead of people. Every AI system creates new ways for hackers to attack. Every business app stores valuable information that criminals want to steal. And as more business happens online, cyber and cloud security specialists become more valuable and not less valuable. This isn't just about stopping hackers. It's about designing security that helps businesses grow instead of slowing them down. Now, what do you actually do here? You design security systems for AI and cloud-based applications. You investigate when hackers try to break in or steal data. You build security frameworks that grow with the business and you stay ahead of new threats in the AI and cloud environments. Security breaches can literally destroy companies overnight. In fact, the average cost of a data breach is almost $5 million. Income potential here is between 120K to 200K a year. Specialized roles exceed 300K a year. How hard is it to learn? I would say it's pretty hard because it's a constantly changing threat landscape which requires continuous learning. Competition is low to medium because it has a high barrier to entry which keeps competition manageable. But security is only as strong as the foundation that is protecting it. And that foundation, well, everything runs on skill number two, cloud engineering. The person who builds the internet infrastructure. Here is something most people don't realize. Every app on your phone, every website that you visit and every AI system that you use runs on the cloud. The cloud isn't actually 
literally a cloud in the sky. It's massive computer systems owned by companies like Amazon, Google, and Microsoft that other businesses rent to run their applications. But most companies are terrible at this. They're wasting 300 to 400% more money than they need to because they don't understand how to set things up properly. Cloud engineers design and manage these systems. You can become the person who makes sure everything actually works and doesn't cost companies a fortune. And what you actually do here is that you design cloud systems that can handle millions of users efficiently. You optimize costs so companies don't waste money on unused resources. You implement security and backup systems, and you make sure AI and business applications run reliably 24 seven. You control the foundation that everything else depends on. With that proper cloud setup, nothing else works. Income potential here is between 140 to over 220K a year. Senior cloud architects make way more than 300K a year. How hard is it to learn? I would say pretty low to medium because it's not difficult to get started. The competition for this is also low to medium because it's high in demand, but it has a limited supply of experienced people. But here's the thing about cloud infrastructure. It's becoming the foundation for something much bigger. Which brings us to skill number one, the most valuable skill that you can possibly develop. And that is AI engineering, the person who builds the future. This gives you the most career freedom of any skill that you can learn, not because you're using ChatGPT, but because you understand how to build AI systems that actually work in real businesses. While everyone else just talks to AI, you're building the AI systems that they're talking to. And I'm not talking low code, no code BS you understand how to create AI that can process amounts of data, make business decisions, and integrate with existing company systems. Most importantly, you can build AI solutions that solve real problems and make real money. So what do you actually do here? You build and deploy AI systems for specific business problems. You create data pipelines that feed information to AI systems. You integrate AI capabilities into existing business applications and you optimize AI systems so they work fast, cost less, and actually give accurate results. AI engineering means that you're building the future and companies either hire you at premium rates or you can just build your own AI powered business. Income potential here is 150K to over 300K a year. Top AI engineers and major companies make way over 500K a year. How hard is it to learn? I would say it's pretty hard because it requires understanding multiple technical areas, but the competition is very low because it's a massive demand, but almost no one is qualified. So which path should you choose? Here is how to pick based on where you are right now. If you want the fastest path to freedom, start with AI engineering or cloud engineering. These are foundational skills that everything else runs on. If you want to build your own business, combine AI engineering with content creation, build AI tools and market them directly. If you prefer working with people, focus on sales or problem solving, but learn enough about AI and cloud to speak intelligently about technical solutions. If you want maximum job security, then security and compliance roles are recession proof because companies cannot afford to cut security. Right now, demand massively exceeds supply for these skills. That gives early movers enormous leverage in salary negotiations and career positioning. But in three to five years, these skills will be way more common than they are right now. The premium rates will normalize. The people who start building expertise now will be the senior practitioners commanding top rates when these skills become the standard requirements for these roles. Don't just pick a skill and start learning randomly. Think about which one fits your current experience and your interests. Then you wanna go deep, build real projects, document your progress, and start solving actual problems, even small ones. The goal isn't just to learn the skill, it's to become the person companies cannot afford to lose. Because in an AI first world, there are two types of professionals. Those who become dependent on AI systems and those who become indispensable because they know how to build, deploy, and optimize those systems. The choice is yours, but choose quickly and lock in.